case in Off order. case in order. So the same order I read it in? Yes, yeah. same order you read it in, okay. then advantages, or then off case in order, I guess. Uh, okay, let me get that. Actually, I'm sorry, we're going to do case in order, then um, your case. Sounds good. Cool. <coughs> All right. Awesome. Everyone ready? Yeah. Okay, so first off, first off, we still have solvents. We still have the second and third solvency points. We outweigh because they, we, we, we outweigh because they have multiple, or the, 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 we outweigh because they only make us several arguments against them. But now I'm going to go against their arguments. First of all, if they say cap and trade fails. No, the EU worked. They, they had an instituted cap and trade, and they were able to reduce the emissions by 50%. This is, this led to a spiral in which companies realized in which they had social responsibility, and they had to interact with it. They had, they had to interact with the government. This led to, uh, it, it, like, inevitably less cap and trade, uh, uh, less pollution. All they say, also they say backstabbing. This is not going to happen because the United States is one actor, and the federal government has power over the, uh, the over, uh, over corporations, so they're going to be able to implement this. Um, and next, I say the, the, the European was a model that's fundamentally misunderstanding. The U.S. is a leader uniquely because it's a one country and has the most power and is able to, to, to model after other countries, whereas the EU didn't model. Um, okay, they woefully, uh, they, they don't cover anything about the advantage. You can extend all of our advantages. Specifically, we're on advantage one. We say under climate change, we have a clear and probable and um, high magnitude extinction scenario. This is going to outweigh anything they say except for the theory, but we're going to go against the theory later on. Um, go to air quality. Again, we also have dehumanization, so we would invoke death and dehumanization under multiple extinction scenarios. Uh, the third one, we have starvation, so we have multiple ways in which to get to extinction. We have starvation, and we have massive dehumanization via, uh, well, yeah, we have massive dehumanization. Okay, now go to their topicality, or their, I don't know what the yeah, their parametric says. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to 50 states counter plan. Okay, so first they say nothing about the, the perms. We're, they're going to have three perms. First perm, do both. Um, we, we can still both do both at the same time. There's no reason why we can't have the states regulate and have the federal government regulate. It would actually be better because the states can regulate. It's going to, there's going to be a backup of the federal rate. I'm sorry, there's, the federal government can regulate and the states will be a backup of regulation. The next argument is perm. Do the, do the plan and the counter plan. We can see if the counter plan is necessary later on. And if the plan is necessary, then we don't have to have the redundancy of the counter plan. The next argument is perm. Uh, perm, do the plan and all non competitive parts of the counter plan. This means that even if you don't buy the perm, do both of the non competitive parts of the counter plan can still be done. There's still going to be the net benefits. The next argument is um, theory, 50 states counter plan bad. First of all, 50 states, they get 50 states of fiat plus the relevant territories. We only get one fee, one state of fiat. Also, they, they, they say some, some, there are also some states wouldn't do this if this lacks solvency. So uh, like Illinois and West Virginia are definitely not going to do this because the politicians are in the pocket of big oil. This, this kills their solvency. Also, they say that this is going to be more flexible. It's not going to be more flexible because states are going to say that there, there's going to be more states who won't do this. The federal government is at least going to implement that. We get, uh, again, we get fiat. The next argument is death. We, 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 we want to talk about the, um, uh, the, depth, uh, the, the depth of a single actor doing this rather than 50 state actors doing this. The next argument is going to be education because we have to talk about all these. Um, we're, we're, we're going to be forced to have a broader education. We're not going to talk about in-depth issues. Now go to um, framework. Go to their K. Okay, so first we're going to read CAP. Good. First CAP is the best system, even though it's not perfect. It'll dehumanize you. The order should allow me to get to the next I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, you ready? Okay, no. Uh, capitalism, good. First, we're going to say it's the best system. It's better than communism. Communism dehumanized massive people. It also started, it also came very close to nuclear war, like in the Cuban Missile Crisis and the Abel Archer uh, in, 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 uh, situation in 82. But basically, communism is more likely to get to nuclear war. Second off is capitalism generates more wealth than social safety net checks. Um, social safety net is going to allow for the poor to at least make up, uh, at least to get by on a reasonable li uh, living. You can see uh, social, uh, you can see, sorry, um, France and European countries are able to institute a social safety net and people that are, they, they are the most wealthy wealthy and equal countries in the world. Next argument is uh, capitalist states are generally democracies and democracies don't go to war. Another, this checks nuclear war and their extinction scenarios. Also, they say we must quantify everything. First of all, you have to quantify everything. We have to have some sort of utilitarian benefits, especially in debate. That's the only way we're going to be do doing this. Next argument is that uh, you have to, is you can quantify everything. You can turn this into pollution, like pollution is quantifiable and negative effects. Yeah, what else? Um, I was, uh, oh shit. Okay, anyway, so the next one is communism, Marxism do, it doesn't work, Marxism dehumanizes in a major way and creates it's a large amounts of war and it pollutes, like massive pollution because even though they say re they regulate, they need to stimulate the economy desperately so they they, they don't regulate and they create pollution. You can just look to Poland where they had massive pollution and nuclear, and nuclear accidents in um, uh, Chernobyl. Next argument is that communism leads to, it leads to a higher possibility of nuclear war. Uh, next argument, yeah. Uh, it's not only a capital si capitalist system. That's the purpose of the federal government. Is yeah, to be able this to is check this is the capital. purpose of the ca federal government system is to check against these kind of things, yeah. uh, against capitalism. Okay, next argument is capitalism inevitable. There's been capitalism since in, for like 500 years. Even under communism, the capitalist system still like still working at the black market. So capitalism is inevitable. It functions as terminal defense on the um, K. Okay, the next argument is um, okay. The alternative, the art alternative, is zero solvency. The five of us in this round is not going to make any difference. Like we're gonna, have, it's gonna have zero solvency at that point. The, the alternative fails, and the entire K fails. The entire uh, entire K falls. Also, turn communism bad. We're gonna have. Um, uh, 
they're going to have more death and dehumanization, cross apply all the things I said about about communism bad and capitalism good. This turns the alternative and turns the entire K. Uh, okay, next argument is this is no severance. We still have the plan, or the first argument is perm, do the plan and the K and all other instances. This means that the plan can still get the positive benefits, and even if there is some capitalist, uh, yeah, capitalism, we're still doing the entire plan, so that's not severance, and the uh, and you can still get the benefits of capital, uh, like decreasing capitalism in all other instances. The next argument is perm, do both. You can do that. You can get the benefits at the same time and denounce capitalism while you get the benefits of the K. Okay, now we're going to go to condo bad. Sorry, I'm mixing up the order. Okay, so condo bad. Everyone good? Okay. First off, is predictability. First off, this comes before everything else. This is theory arguments. This is going to be an a priori issue. First of all, is, is death over depth over breath. We have to talk about specific issues when they can just drop these arguments. I have made a bunch of arguments against this, and we're not going to have death over breath. The next argument is education. Uh, we have to have education. This ties into de depth over breath because we have to have education about these issues. Specifically, when they say the K is really important, we have to have issues about the K and whether the counter plan solves better. The next argument is fairness. When they can just drop these arguments, it means I spend like four minutes on this. They just drop it in the next speech. This is a high level voter because it has real world impact. Next argument is predictability. Predictability is keeping his absence of ability to have some more equal access to the ballot. We are killed, like we're killed in our ability to like, to have fairness. Fairness is also out of round impact. Um, yeah, that's enough on that. I may back to get back to comment later, but anyway. Okay, so get the tea. Okay, so first we're gonna do counterinterpretation on the tea. Um, Okay, counterinterpretation. First off, we have a we have a better option, or we have a better option because we're limiting the, the debate to a specific sp a scope of the resolution. We can talk about very specific things, whereas they say interpret uh, interpret is like twenty percent. We don't we don't have any idea what that is. Twenty percent of all U.S. emissions. We don't even know like exactly how much pollution there is. We're being more limited. But the next argument is we need we are like coal is a key industry. It represents fifty percent of the entire emissions. So we are decreasing. Well, we're decreasing coal by over twenty percent, which decreases the U.S. emissions. Um, only coal emissions are going to solve to this extent. So we need. The next argument is they say. Oh, next argument is counter standards. First, they say re resolutional fidelity. Um, we're being more re resolutionally fidelable, fidelitable because we're focusing on, on limited issues. You can cross play all things I said about uh, resol the resolutional analysis, about how I, uh, 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 the, the parametricizing, how we're being more <laughs> fidelitable to the resolution. Next argument is they say uh, parametricize goes too far. No, we have to have depth over breadth. If we want to talk about this, next argument is ground. We provide more specific ground. We provide better ground. Both guys, this is a really predictable thing. We predicted, especially coal is the sense of the coal is the largest producer. Next, they say they don't have access to counterpoints. First of all, they just read an agent counterpoint. I don't see what they're saying about this. Next Next argument is that they tell you they have no picks. Uh, picks are, inher are inherently unfair, so you should not run picks because this is a specific part of the resolution. We at least give equal access to the ballot. Um, next argument is this is going to be an RBI. We have to have equal access to the ballot. Um, this means that if we go for topic categories, I'm in protected time. Um, if we go for an RBI, we're going to have to go for this. The next argument is they, they, they're DA. Okay, so they have low federal control. First off, there's going to be high federal control right now because we're engaged with, with like, a, like a federal government under Obama and, and Bush administration ra rapidly expanded federal control, so uniqueness overwhelms the link. Next argument is that, that now is a specific time need. I don't see why now is a specific time. Next argument is this is the um, okay. Next argument is going to the links. Um, link turn, uh, inevitable policy means that uh, that, we're, that the state, that the federal government is going to be in better control. It means they're going to be able to better institute this turns all their advantages. Next argument is that the uh, next argument is go to it impacts uh, turn. There's not going to be a backlash because Arizona has already instituted, has already instituted the policies. They're not going to institute any more policies because the federal government has outruled them. Uh, ruled them. Also turn um, the no enforcement of gun laws. Zero has a high enforced probability of high enforcement of gun laws because Obama is has a political capital. He's going for this. 